or Victoria. It is happening all over this country. That's how we bring everyone in, Republican, Democrat, independent, rural community, big city alike. All Americans first before anything else. Respond to what the president said today and what was his effort to unify and move past the us versus them. Take a listen. The shooter in El Paso posted a manifesto online consumed by racist hate. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America. Now, I've heard the critique, oh, he didn't write that. He should, fair enough, but he said the words, and he did say white supremacy is hate and should be treated as domestic terror. No. Important for you then to say that this is the same man who called white nationalists and Klansmen and neo-Nazis very fine people who asked for more immigrants who look like those in Sweden and Norway, that the whitest places on the planet, while describing immigrants from Haiti as full of AIDS or countries in Africa as shithole nations. This is the most racist president we've had since perhaps Andrew Johnson in, in another age and another century. And, and he is responsible for the hatred and the violence that we're seeing right now. It, you cannot leave that just to me. Um, to say that it's, it's got to be you and, and those who are helping this country understand what is happening in our name to connect those dots of these actions that can seem unconnected or disparate or random or just strange that they're not they're all of a pattern and they all follow what this president has said from that maiden speech when he ran for the highest office in the land describing the people of this community as rapists and criminals uh, talking about people as though they are animals or subhuman this necessarily results, you saw that manifesto. The words that he was using were many of the same words that the president has been using. We cannot allow him to get off scot-free just, just because he gave a speech here today. We cannot let him get off uh, with, without any complicity or justice or accountability given what he has done and made possible here. There has to be, there has to be justice at the end of the day. There will be an election.